Hey everybody, <clears throat> Jaybird here. You heard me talk about the setup I'm running. That top piece is for the Talon P small hole for the 20 cal. Then you got a, a an adapter. I think it's about three inches long. Then you got a um, regulator valve. Ouch. The regulator valve right there. Now that regulator valve and this uh, bottle adapter right there go together. Of course, the bottle is, uh, what I say, 360. <laughs> I just stirred it up, check it for leaks, and I'm at about a thousand PSI, which I gotta check. <laughs> on Talon, to see if I'm gonna be pushing uh, that 13.74 grain uh, field trophy, H&M field trophy, something Diablo or whatever on it. But uh, yeah, I've had these things for a long time. But these parts, I haven't. I've had the, I've had uh, the regular bottle and. The, the frame and the barrels and all that for a long time. I just got all this new stuff. But this whole setup, plus that valve, because that's the original Talon P valve, is like one fifty, if I remember right. Depends on if you catch these uh, bottles that on sale. But the these uh, the regulator and that adapter right there for an M18 by 1.5 bottle um, it was about $25. You might get them a little cheaper. You shop around. That adapter piece I think was five dollars. So. The bottle was anywhere from a hundred to a hundred and twenty-five. So you're looking eh, 150 all together. But you gotta catch them on sale. But we're at a three thousand psi fill. Of course I just uh, turned the regulator dial which shows up real good behind the, right here at the valve, which is a thousand PSI. It'll show up on that one too, but I gotta find my glasses. But anyways, uh, it's cooled down, it's ready to go. Everything's good and tight. I'm just waiting and checking uh, the thousand psi fill before I put it all together. But that's it. Just mess with that knob from that regulator right there. I'm gonna turn that hammer spring. Well, it's already down about halfway, what it looks like to me, and. Uh, See if we can get, I think, 625 or 630 out of it. By the way, I think that's the only FX thing I ever bought. <laughs> but, uh, something else I heard, I read. One of them guys over there in Africa, South Africa, I think, it's one of them shows. They, uh, he was driving down a road and he hit a pretty good bump. Now his uh, FX was uh, in a case, inside a case. 
and they call them barrels. No, they, they're actually liners. That's it. No more. They're eight millimeters thick. I mean, diameter. And then they bore a hole in it or whatever they do. Anyhow, he gets out. He starts shooting. His gun's shooting crazy and wild. That's eight millimeters. Because of the bump, even though the gun was in the case, he bent the barrel. That's wild. He bent his liner inside the shroud and everything, or however he got it set up. He bent it. So he gets to shoot, and it's off. So he figures out, he opens, takes it apart, pulls his liner out, and uh, he sort of kind of bends it back to where it'll start shooting good. I imagine he may have turned it down or up when he indexed it again, in other words. But that's what you get with an FX. You got to be careful. It's like uh, eggs, you know? in the back of your car. You hit a bump, you, you may have cracked two of them eggs. Well, he hit a bump and bent the shit out of his barrel. So, I found that pretty hilarious. But, uh, that's just me. I'm not an FX fan anyways. I think most of y'all know that. But look at him. <sighs> I get it all set up, I'll holler back. Happy Halloween.